Voices of Jesus Ministries. And it is another beautiful day to be alive, guys. We can take a deep breath and our lungs still function. Hello, our chest cavity area is not caving in. Uh, listen, listen, guys, listen. It is an eternal blessing to be, to be alive, to be able to breathe. And I, for one, am super grateful. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are going places with Jesus Ministries. And you just stepped into our divine worship service on a Sunday morning. Okay? Now, this morning's Bible reading will be done by Maitai Wilson. And she will be leading us into our Bible verse for this morning. And then we go into our time of prayer. Maitai Wilson. You're up. Hello, everyone. My name is Maita Wilson, and, um, and we welcome you to our divine worship service today. This morning, this morning's Bible verse is being taken from John 1, verse 1 to 4, and it reads... In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And we now turn it back to Evangelist Shadoni for our morning prayer. At this time, I'm going to turn over now to Pastor Deandra, and she's going to lead us into a deeper time of deeper worship. Pastor Deandra. Thank you, Evangelist Sidoni. Hallelujah. We want to go into a time of praise and worship this morning. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 34, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. And so this is our opportunity to come together with one voice and one accord and lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so at this time, I, am, I invite you to go ahead and if you can, uh, open up your mics and let us begin to praise his holy name. You're not doing it for me. You're not doing it for anybody else on this Zoom line. You're not doing it for the pastors. You're not doing it for show. You're doing it for God and God alone. It's only for him. And there is so much victory in praise. So much. Without you even having, a, before you even go into warfare, my God, it's already done in praise and thanksgiving. It's already done. All you got to do is open up your mouth and give him true praise. I'm not talking about lip service. I'm not talking about making noise. I'm talking about true praise. I can't tell you if you're giving it, only the Lord can, but you will know because you will begin to feel his presence. I'm not asking you, I am telling you. You begin to feel his presence because he begins to recognize what you're giving and his response is to inhabit. Jesus. Jesus. The victory is won in your praise, saints of God. The victory is won in your praise. I'm going to only read one of the scriptures here because I had a whole section, but we are running out of time. It says Second Chronicles verse chapter 20 and verse 22. And it says, and when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah and they were smitten. If you read in that whole section, the Bible says that they, that uh, Jehoshaphat, uh, Jehu, excuse me, Jehu went and prayed to the Lord. And the Lord says, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of it. But Jehu didn't just stop there. He got the promise of the Lord and he said, no, 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 we're not just going to stop there. He went to the people and said, let us praise the Lord. And they began to praise and they began to lift up his holy name. And what does the Bible say? The Bible says that their enemies were confounded. They became confused and they destroyed themselves. 
God won the victory. God gave them the victory because of their praise and their worship. And so I say it to you this morning, you all are sitting on some major promises of God. God has given you promises that he says is yes and amen. And all you have to do this morning, because when the enemy hears the promise, he want to stir up himself. He want to act a fool. He want to bring fear and confusion. He want to bring doubt. He want to bring worry. But what does the Bible say? The people began to praise. The people began to lift up the name of the Lord. And because they lifted up the name of the Lord, the enemy consumed themselves. Jesus. Come on and begin to lift up his holy name. Lift up his holy name. Lift up his holy name this morning for he is worthy. He is truly worthy to be praised. He is truly worthy to be adored this morning. Come on and praise his holy name. Praise your way out of mourning. Praise your way out of sorrow. Praise your way out of doubt. Praise your way out of worry this morning, saints of God. Sometimes it's not about the laying of hands. It's not about intercession. It's not about the shunda. It is about the praise this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus, glory to your name, almighty God, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 we bless your name, we bless your name, oh God, we adore you and magnify you, for you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, glory to your name, Jesus. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, King. Great are you, Abba. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. We lift you up, oh God. We magnify you, oh God. We set you high, oh God, where you belong. In your rightful place, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Lord, no more false idols, oh God. No more false idols, Jesus. Lord, we, oh God, wash us this morning. As we prepare for communion, God, wash us this morning, Jesus. No more idolizing our problems, our circumstances. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, no more, oh God. We put you in your rightful place, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, God, you are worthy. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Great and mighty are you, oh God. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy, oh God. Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, oh God, you are worthy. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We adore you, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We honor your sacrifice this morning, oh God. With the heart of surrender, oh mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, I turn it over to past, our senior pastor, Pastor Roger. And we're going to have a Lord's Supper. The word of God says in 1 <laughs> Corinthians 11, 23 through 25, we may not read all of it, but it says, for I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread. Hallelujah. And when he had given thanks, hallelujah, he broke it 
Hallelujah. It was literally a piece of bread in his hand and said, this is my body. It's a representation of his body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also, he took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. This is a representation of the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It represents the fact that we're not eating normal bread. Jesus even said, this is not the bread, hallelujah, that they ate in the wilderness. Tabo, dambe, kadabu, shate. This is a far greater bread. It's a living bread, the living word. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone. You better catch on in the spirit. Don't be slow now. Shabo kundaba. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. We know the Bible says in 1 John, my God, that God became, the, the word became flesh. The word became flesh. The word became shata. The word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Come on, somebody. This is a representation of the fact that we will consume the word of the living God. We will eat it as our spiritual food. We will devour it. We will consume it. We will eat it up for our spiritual sustenance. My God, let us eat this bread even now in remembrance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Eat even now. Hallelujah. Glotabo sate de beshete. Hallelujah. Jesus, he took the cup. Hallelujah. This representation, Jesus said it out of his own mouth. It is a representation of his blood. Hallelujah. Whatever you have, whatever you have, just we're going to drink it. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Don't even fool yourself. Jesus said that there's life in the blood. Life is in the blood. Anyone who's ever seen, my God, anything killed, if blood is removed, that animal or beast is dead because Jesus said life is in the blood. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My God, Apostle Paul said, if ram's blood was that effective, come on, if animal's blood was that effective, my God, to block death, hallelujah, to stop death because God said it. When I see the blood of the ram on your doorpost, I am going to take it and pass by. Are you listening to me? If that had so much authority. Imagine now the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood. There is healing in the blood of Jesus. If you need healing right now, if you, oh my Lord, if you believe it, you can be healed right this second. Healing in your body, healing in your mind. Come on, healing comprehensively, mentally, physically, spiritually. Huh. Let us drink even now in Jesus' almighty name. Hallelujah. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your plans, oh God. We submit to your will and your purposes in this earth. We give you the glory, God. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We thank you for the victory in Jesus' almighty name. Amen.